Hello peeps, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. My name is Wajiha Jindut, coming to you today as an African woman. <laughs> It's Monday, the the Monday after Thanksgiving. So that means we've had like four whole days with the guys here and we haven't had much chance to clean. We've just been enjoying each other's company and they've also been hanging out with their friends uh, for most of the evenings. So I'm doing a bit more cleaning than usual and just changing things up just to set a different vibe. So I'm thinking of just laying my table a different way and uh, today also my fridge is kind of empty but we have the essentials that we need perhaps to even cover a week uh, just it's just the fridge looks very empty and sometimes it's like that because you have most of the meats frozen or even some vegetables frozen so this week will be an interesting one as far as foods are concerned I'm going to be mainly cooking my frozen vegetables. I still have some salads and we'll serve those first. But I wanted to show you like how I do mostly like Mondays or whenever we don't have meats. Uh, because the different kinds, uh, the different cuts we get, we usually freeze downstairs. So some I had not even divided, but this is what I'm working on. So we even freeze bread, yeah? So I had removed one before. This come as a pear. This is one of the loaves the guys like, uh, at Tesano. Uh, but they've moved on to other breads. But this has, has been sitting in the freezer for some time. And then I have drumsticks. These are drumsticks. I got three of them from the freezer. I was hoping they would fit here so I can just have have them defrosting in the fridge for some time. I'll just put in a different container. And this, these are pork chops that I never opened. I usually open and just divide for like two meals because they have, they pack them in like eight, like eight pork chops. So we divide two. I think this is what we'll cook today because I always feel like Monday, if I'm around, it's best to give the guys a treat and they really like pork chops because, okay, they really taste great and they don't take much. Uh, they don't take much imagination when you're cooking them. You can just, uh, you can just air fry and then serve with the salad. So I guess those are what I will cook for today. Then I'll have these thighs defrosting. I might actually take out some more meat for the next few days. So that's how I will hack. And that's also how, that's how we also do some major savings. Because when you buy a lot at once, especially in bulk, you find that you save a lot and that is why we we get those discount cards at uh, wholesale shops like BJ's. Uh, we don't have a Costco close by, but if we did, that is what, where we would go. I've always loved shopping at Costco. You actually do save and they sell in bulk, you know, so most things cheaper and bulky. So that means you can keep it for a long time. All right, so uh, I've picked another container to put these chicken thighs in. It's thighs, not drumsticks. And I'll have this uh, defrosting till maybe day after tomorrow. And for today, I'll have that pork chop, uh, ch pork chop package defrosting and I'll cook that in the evening. Uh, perhaps if the time allows, I'll cook a soup too. Uh, that will go well with everything else especially because it's a bit chilly today it's sunny but in the towards evening it gets chilly icy even yeah and this is this container helps for when i want to keep the bread instead of keeping it with the paper i use this bread container uh i find it's much easier to 
just deal with things when they're in containers it's much easier to reach and even if you need to like uh marinade the meats or something or when the guys need to make french toast out of the bread it's just readily available and this is easier to handle and it's also neater in the fridge so i'm also going to make my table uh, with some nice clashing colors to just uh, depict fall <laughs> So uh, I'm going to use this. Uh, these are like paper-like uh, placemats, but when you look at them, they look like leather. I just love them. Uh, they're from the Mainstay brand. I love Walmart things. They're not so durable, but they can be so cute sometimes when you want to, uh, and also uh, affordable when you want to just create a different vibe. So this is what I'm working with, setting the table just to have it neat. breakfast and i'm eyeing this tamo's cake uh he had he had his birthday on the 22nd of november and he insisted not to have a cake because he's not been doing sugar but i still felt guilty and just made it look so simple but still a lot of it has remained and i know the guys take forever to finish so i'll have it refrigerated and for now i might have a piece <laughs> Before I finish this, I want to invite you guys to vote for me. I entered this competition for The Greatest Baker. Uh, it is a competition that is run in North America once a year. And uh, so far, so good. It's uh, We won't be baking or anything, but uh, it's a competition where you vote. Like your friends will prove that you're the greatest baker by voting for you. So I'll put a post on the community. And I hope you just uh, go in and vote for me. Uh, let's see if I'll be the greatest baker. And, you know, a win for me is a win for us all. Uh, so that will go towards making even greater cakes. Uh, that is what I do, actually.